Okay, welcome back everybody. So, got another little video here I want to talk to you about. This is a less than four hour strategy. It can work for the daily, but I have a little less faith in it than I do with sub four hour. But the indicator we're going to be going over is called the Nadaraya Watson Estimator. Now we have a custom version of this over in our Discord that we're going to release for everyone. So you can have some alerts set to it. It'll kind of ping you and let you know what's going on, which is kind of cool. Uh, and also you could use it for a bot if you wanted to. Uh, we haven't gotten that far yet, but I want to let you guys know what was possible. So let's go into the video here. All right. So here we are on trading view. It's fairly simple here. We're just going to go to our indicator section and type in Nada, which is not Araya Watson estimator. It's by Lux Algo. He's got a bunch of really cool indicators. This one's free for everyone to use. Now we've customized it a bit from here. Now once you've got this indicator selected, this is it here. It's just a little up down wavy line with little alerts that pop up for you to let you know what's going on. It either tells you to buy or sell, whichever. Um, so once you get it, they're going to make some changes though. We're going to go over here to settings. We're going to set this bandwidth to four. I believe it comes with 14 stock settings. Um, for crypto, you're going to notice we're far more volatile. And I don't really think the Lux Algo guy does a lot of uh, crypto trading. I think it's mostly stocks and equities. Um, but we have high volatility in crypto and we want to take advantage of that. So we're going to bump our bandwidth down to 14, uh, down to four from 14. What does this do? Well, essentially what you're going to see is this indicator will repaint its buy signal looking at the previous four candles. So you may see a situation where this thing tells you to buy and you go ahead and buy. And then as it moves along, it kind of backs up. You'll see what I'm talking about as we do it here. So got the candles turned off right now. I'll turn them back on here. I've just got a random section of Bitcoin here pulled up. I'm going to start it here, and I want to show you that this thing isn't perfect, but it's pretty darn good. So uh, I've got the replay function enabled. We'll zoom in really big here so everyone can see it. So right now it's told us back here we had a buy signal. Let's back up just a little bit and see it actually print out. All right. Turn my replay on here. All right, we're going to hit play. I'm going to mark every single buy with a vertical line and every single sale with a vertical line. And we'll take percentages amongst that and see how it does. All right, so let's hit play. We'll watch it run for a second here. As you see, it's all red right now. Aha, and this candle right about here, you see it popped up and turned green. So let's catch that a little faster here. We can turn my speed down right there. See if we can get the exact number on that. And this is four hour, by the way. I prefer this on 15 minute, which sounds crazy, but you can scalp with it. Been doing it in the background. All right, nothing there yet. Give it a second and bouncing around, trying right there. You see that it's starting to highlight it and pop it up. So right about here is when it starts flashing to buy. Right, right about here, just on the top of it. So I've got a vertical line marking the spot and the green line marking the place where I bought. So we hit play here. Let's turn the speed up just a little bit. There we go. Give it a second. And as you see, it's up and doing its thing. And then we get this really gnarly red. Now, if you noticed, this was all green at first. You see how it repainted? back up here for a second turn my speed down just a touch we're green here we're green here we're green here all green nice and clean looking and then oof you get this really gnarly looking red candle in right here now like i said i prefer 15 minutes and you actually would have been able to catch this <clears throat> on the 15 minute but four hour for the example here line has started to curve back down all red now it would have told you to sell way back here and this is why i say i don't mind it on the four hour but i prefer it on lower time frames here you would have taken a loss in fact the stop loss settings for this i'm using are about three percent okay so every three percent i'm locking it out and stopping if it goes three percent down from where i bought it at i am out now take profit what do you use so the the argument is different here We've changed some different settings and done some different things. If you're scalping with this, I would look for 
three to five percent profit on each one. So if we're doing that and not just waiting on this thing to turn red, here's where it comes in handy. So we bought down here. And as you see, we hit about three and a half percent profit. So if we're looking for three percent profit per, we hit a win here and we actually sold the top, which is awesome. Now, let's say we did that because that's actually what I've been doing in the background here. We sold here because we got 3% profit. Let's say we're aiming for 3% per trade. You can get more than that, obviously, if you step it up to the daily. We know that. Uh, but this is a bit of a scalping strategy. So I've got 3% from that one. Now I'm looking for a short. Let's back up a bit. Actually, let's put, you know what, let's make this line green because that was a buy line. And green. And then we had a sell signal up here at the top. Speed this up a bit. Let it play out one more time here just so you can see it. I'm going to grab my vertical line tool here. Right there was when it turned red. And now we're down, 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 down. In fact, we can buy a future short here, which is what I've been doing. Back up one more time and have a look at that and make sure we pick just the right time to do it. This will be a red line, not green, because this is a short signal. And this is on the four hour, obviously, not the 15 minute where I've been doing it. And one more time. No arrow flashed yet. It hasn't changed colors. You can see the little arrow it threw up down here. Pretty cool. We haven't gotten that yet. And you're still green right here. As you see, no arrow, but it's trying to turn over. It's trying to turn over. <clears throat> All right. And then we get our arrow on this candle here. Let's move this over to this one. And right there that is our four hour short signal yes that was a big move wasn't it and this is why i say the 15 minute is kind of where i've been doing it works for four hour better for 15 minute All right so and now we're in a short we're on uh, our futures platform we're in a short so we're going to let this ride for a moment and see what happens all right we're in the profits there three and a half percent profit is what we're looking for here Look at there. We have hit our win right here is our take profit line. Yet another successful trade. That's two in a row. You keep doing this over and over and over and over again. Obviously, you can let this run longer if you want. You can let this run farther and get more profits if you'd like. You can use confluence with other indicators for that as well. Uh, KDJ seems to work pretty closely with it. Whenever you see a trade turn red, short it. Whenever you see a trade turn green, long it. In fact, the KDJ kind of gives you a hint when it gets super, super far down or super, super high up that it's time to think about reversing your plan. Okay. And we'll let it play here for a second. I'll show you in concert with it. Obviously here, it just keeps going down more and more and more and more. And now look how far the KDJ has come down. Way down here. Not Arias, still red. Still red. Still nothing. And now we start to see it curve. See how it's starting to curve sharply? This is a sign that's probably going to flip. Not to mention the KDJ has almost started to turn here. And... Right there, we see our first little buy signal pop up. Euro telling me to buy. <laughs> All right, so right here, that's going to be a, a long signal. Right here, and obviously, 3.5% stop loss, or 3% stop loss, 3% profit, one way or the other. And we hit play here. Oh, did we hit 3% right there? Did it already take us? Nope, that was only 1.5%. Not quite good enough. 3% is going to be way down here. No stop loss yet. Did we hit 3% up? 
it looks like we did hit 3%. Another successful trade already. That trade was in profit after one four hour candle, just like that profit. That's three in a row, so forth and so on. Obviously you can go down to the 15 minute and get really, really tight with this thing and make multiple trades per session. Okay. And it's a little easier to see here. Actually, this was that four hour buy we made. All right. On the 15 minute, it was telling you, no, thank you. See that it was actually rolling over and stopping on the 15 minute telling you, no, give it a moment here. As you see, we were no thank you. And it popped up a little green signal right here. Up we go, up we go. Do we hit our numbers yet? Nope, we didn't get our 3% yet. Keep waiting. That's when it took it, that sharp pullback. And we're waiting, waiting. Right there, we got a buy signal. It would have actually moved us over here and made us wait a little longer. Okay. Um, we wouldn't have got stopped out. We would have actually bought here, this one, and not quite got enough profits. Didn't get stopped out, came close. 3% uh, didn't get hit, I don't think. No, it never got hit. Never got hit. So we actually bought here. Let's see if it reverses. I said this. I said it waiting on a buy signal for here, and it was actually back here. All right. See, it's getting hairy, isn't it? Um... 2.3%. Almost, almost hit it. That one hit it. Yes, it did. That one stopped us out. One loss. Tough call here, but one loss. This is why I set stop losses. This is why I'm only willing to take a 3% loss. So, trade nullified on the 15 minute. We lost that one. Hit play. Right now, we see it immediately start popping back up, trying to tell us to go again. Right there, we get our first go signal. Right about there. And right about here. As you see, the KDJ has turned green again. Um, already moving up rapidly, so let's be careful. And KDJ moves up. And now Araya moves up. Do we hit our 3% yet? Nope, only 1.1%. So we'll keep going. There it is, right there. Once we hit our 3%. Cool. So made, we made, we lost, we remade, so forth and so on. You can take this strategy kind of as far as you want to take it, right? You can use it in concert with other indicators. You can just use it alone. Now, I prefer to use Confluence with everything. KDJ is a pretty rapidly moving indicator as well. It's kind of a leading indicator, not perfect. And this is kind of a leading indicator as well, the Notariah indicator. So use them in concert with each other. Obviously, we're in a bear market. Look for more longs than shorts. And obviously, in a bull market, I'm sorry, in a bear market, look for more shorts than longs. And obviously, in a bull market, look for a little more longs than shorts. This is a pretty cool indicator. I'm going to try to wrap this thing up into a bot and get it running on a bot and let it test itself alone. One thing at a time, though. So from me to you, thank you for watching. If you guys need anything, keep an eye out for more indicators coming up soon. We're going to make some new videos. Thank you all for watching. Peace.